you could just start us off with uh, your thoughts on this matchup tomorrow and how the team's been looking this week. Yeah, um, we are coming off a, a break um, that have been good for us, I think, to think about other things than football. Uh, like how we sell it. It felt like we have been off for, for three months or something like that, but it actually just eight days. But it was uh, a really good eight days, I think. Uh, we have new energy. Uh, we feel that we played uh, really well in the last game against Kansas, uh, created many chances, uh, took three important points. So we're really looking forward to the next game here now against Chicago. Questions for Kim? Chicago's coming off two clean sheet wins. They've been gaining momentum, you know, after having kind of a rough start to the season. What challenge do you think that they're going to pose compared to maybe some earlier matches that Racing's played against them? Yeah, they play it a little bit different right now. They started the season with three defenders, then they play some four, two, three, one formation, and now they have been like a more like a four, four, two. Uh, and and also the fact is a little bit funny sometimes with football because they miss their amazing goalkeeper uh, in the World Cup, but also that uh, Juki that I think is maybe their best players, player have, have missed some games and then they actually start to find good results and good performances. So it's, uh, they, they work so hard together. Uh, so I think it's going to be a difficult game for us, uh, but of course also see that we have the quality to win. How needed was that break for you guys after a long stretch and especially getting the win before we get into the break? Yeah, I think the, the three points was so important. You have to win that kind of game, especially at home. And uh, we were really disappointed after the old rain game when we felt that we had three points in the pocket and gave away two. So to to bounce back and, and take another three points was really important. And, and the way we did it, uh, we felt that uh, we were so much better. I think we had like 26 shots or something like that. And uh, so uh, we're building momentum. We're doing better and better as a group and as a team. And we're looking forward to the to the, to the rest of the season. Jay and Lowe talked about some of the younger players getting more opportunities when you're missing six players because of the World Cup. How have you seen the younger players embrace that kind of opportunity in preparation? Uh, I, I think they're doing great and they are well prepared. I mean, uh, they have played a little bit. If I take uh, Kayla Fisher, for example, there is a rookie in the league. I mean, she has played a little bit. She know exactly what I expect from her and she's doing great. Uh, of course, it's difficult to play as a 10 instead of the mellow, but She's doing everything she can and she learn and uh, she grow. And uh, I love to sit with her and, and watch the game because she's a smart girl and she she always wants to be better. Might we uh, start to see the players like Nadia come back and get a few more minutes? I know she got about 10 minutes out last time. Are we looking for maybe 20 or 30 on her this, this week? Yeah, something like that. She's not, of course, ready to start, but uh, she's ready for more minutes. Uh, she's doing better and better. Uh, and a quality player like Nadia, it's... It will help us in the in the second part of the season for sure. John, do you want to go ahead? Uh, Ken, Lauren is first in the league in recoveries and second in fouls. One being that she's playing a totally different position. How impressed are you that she's been able to adapt to playing this new position so quickly? Yeah, I'm actually not surprised because she's so good. Whatever I take a decision to play her. But I think she has been one of the best outside backs in, in the league, to be honest. Uh, uh, so I'm really proud of her. What did you see in, in her game or skill set that, that made you say, you know what, I think you can change positions and make this move? Um, a little bit similar to, to Kayla Fisher I was talking about. She's really open mind to learn. And I think that's an important thing uh, for a player that you can take the feedback in the right way. Uh, most of the time as a coach, you, you're talking about the negative thing that you have to do better next time. And you have two ways to take it. You can be a little bit, uh, I don't know what word to use, but you can be, uh, yeah, you can take it in the wrong way or the right way. And she always take it in the right way and she learn and she grow and she doing better and better for every single game. And uh, also the, the style when she plays, she's so aggressive, she's good. Uh, in the defense and in the attack. Uh, so I think she fits perfect there. What kind of example do you think she sets for the players who are still learning the league and, and are young? And you know, She's seen a lot, played a lot, and been here since the beginning. Yeah, I mean, she, she's maybe not like uh, the, the biggest girl in the league, but she shows with energy and 
uh, how aggressive she plays, she still can, can do really, really well in this league. Like I said, I think she's one of the best outside backs in the league. So she showed with passion and, and understanding of the game that it really works anyway. And what's it like as the as a club head coach to watch players playing presumably and well not presumably when they start playing the World Cup? How how do you anticipate what that will be like for you to see them representing their countries on, on such a big stage? Yeah, of of course it's always fun to see them when they play in the national team. Some of them have a different roles and they play on different positions. Sometimes you can take things from that. Uh uh, but uh, of course, it's a, a huge thing for the six players now that uh, play in, in the biggest uh, tournament in the world, like uh, the World Cup. So it's going to be fun for us, and we're going to support them from Louisville. Any other questions for him? Cool. Thank you, Cam.